And outside Africa, Australia's Defence Minister Peter Dutton has called Russian President Vladimir Putin a paranoid and utterly ruthless operator. I think that his invasion of Ukraine has been a miscalculation that may be very well or very well destroy himself. Speaking in Canberra, Dutton also called a called out China for failing to condemn Russia's behavior and raising concerns of China's increased presence in Indonesia Pacific region. He said it's important to redouble efforts in safeguarding security and sovereignty of nations in the region. I think that Australia and the United States are in lockstep in their commitment to regional stability. It's becoming clear that Putin's Ukrainian gamble has been a miscalculation that may very well destroy the man himself. He has, for one, very seriously underestimated the Ukrainian people. Ukrainians have been unyielding in their resolve to live independent, prosperous and free. Russia has published a long list of states which it considers unfriendly, and that includes Australia, and we should wear that as a badge of honour. But it's in the cyber realm that Putin is most likely to strike. The Kremlin has long sought to weaponise the internet as a means of conducting a form of asymmetric warfare in the post-Soviet era. And so we must expect nations like ours to become the target of escalating cyber attacks. The very worst cyber attacks can of course inflict society-wide damage with enduring ramifications. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.